Hello everyone, this is a continuation of the Amazon tutorial, you know, setting up a server and everything like that. So we we're getting ready to get into some serious stuff, so I just want to play a little video for you here before we do that. Wait for the mail, just to get you in the right, right frame of mind. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighbor. Will you be mine? Will you be mine? Love, Fred Rogers. Nipple day for beauty. Will you be mine? Yeah. I've always wanted a neighbor just like you. Yeah. It's a neighborhood you. Let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, might as well say, might as well say, be mine. Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please, please, you please, please, won't you be my neighbor? Hi, Mr. Rogers. Me too. All right. So that gets us in the right frame of mind to start making the server, doing commands, and everything like that. So uh, let's get started, shall we? So <clears throat> here's the instance that we made earlier, okay? And uh, we have an elastic IP that we associated with this instance, okay? So up here, if we just, you know, if, if we highlight our instance and click connect, it's going to give us this little thing. You know, the Maximus MCC dot PEM we downloaded, all right? But we're going to connect a different way, like this last part here. We're going to change around a little bit, all right? And I'm going to show you how to do this. So first of all, grab this, copy, and uh, what I like to do is put this in a notepad like this right here, okay? So then that way I have, you know, the whole syntax structure. And uh, right at the end here, we're going to be putting our elastic IP instead of all this okay so let's let's go get our elastic IP once again that's associated with that and that's right here okay right click copy and so we're going to replace this last part with that elastic IP address okay all right now the next thing that I want to make sure that you do so you don't get frustrated because this is very important Okay, is you want to bring over, you know, your downloads folder. And let me get it queued up for, you, for myself here. So in Windows, here's that MaximusMCC.PEM that we downloaded. All right. Now make sure you put this in the home directory or your, your right directory. So we're going to put it right here. The Mac, you can see I have my other one right here, right? So I, I make sure that it's in the right path because when we start working with terminal, okay, it's going to be important able to be accessed you know from the terminal and you don't want it in another folder or anything like that okay just because of file paths and URLs okay so that make that brings us to setting up the terminal okay now this is Linux of course I told you guys about having putty and, and so on and so forth so what we want to do is we want to okay, let me show you what I'm we have our IP address in there. I'm going to right click, copy, and then we're just going to paste that in there just like so. Okay? Okay, neighbor? Oh, host key failed. Now, <clears throat> this could be because I have in my, uh, you know, in, in my key value pairs, I have uh, a different fingerprint, you know, from that maximus.pem. So if you receive something like this, I'm going to show you. Do. Okay, so here, right here, we could see that it's in the SSH folder. So I want to go CD dot SSH. Okay, so now I'm in there, and now do you see this known hosts? Okay, so let me remove that RM known host, just like that. Okay, now let me try it again. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click copy. Try and get into that server. Paste, just like that. Hit enter. Now, you're, it says that there's no such file or directory. Are you 
you sure you want to continue connecting? And I'm going to type in, yes, I do. Okay. So now my permission is denied. Okay. Why is that? Well, it could be because I am, you know, I'm in the wrong folder there, that, that slash uh, dot SSH. So what I want to do is click CD dot dot. And you see how that gets me in the right folder? Okay. Now what we can do is right click copy, right click paste, and hit enter. And now you can see that I am, that, that the permissions are too open, okay? So it's important that, that I take you through all this stuff because of the fact that you're going to face this when you're trying to connect. So what we want to do is we want to change mode to 400. So we all we have to do is like CHMOD and then hit 400 and then Maximus MCC dot PEM, just like that. Okay, so now we changed the mode, so we made the PEM file more secure. And that's what Amazon likes to see. So once again, we're going to go right here, right click, copy, okay, paste, just like that. And with any luck, we'll be successfully connected to the uh, server. So let it go through its thing. that up here all right oh okay here we are we're connected all right so now you see Ubuntu so and it gives you this warning comes with absolutely no warranty okay permitted by applicable by law now one of the things that, that you want to do is you want to install Apache PHP MySQL and so on and so forth and let me show you this little code that we're going to be installing in now, just 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 to show you, get you on track here, well, well, you can always go to your Elastic IP, okay? And let me go grab my Elastic IP, that five two dot number, and you can paste it in your browser right here, and you can see that there's no web page available. There's nothing set up on here yet, okay? So what we're going to do is let me bring this over so you know what I'm doing. This is where we're going to apt get install Apache blah blah blah, but now, the problem is, is if I try to do this now, okay, it's not going to work. I have to log in as root in order for this to work. So to log in as root, I type in su, oh, sudo, sudo, like, remember judo, but sudo, okay? And then su, like that. And this, <coughs> this will log us in as the root, okay? And that's important, so that you're logged in as root. And now we could take this. Otherwise, you would have to put SUDO in front of this. But now we don't have to do that. All we have to do is right-click, copy, right-click, paste. And I have all this stuff for you at A1 Website Pro Neighbor. Okay? You can get this. You want to continue? Yes, I do. And let it go through its process. Now, my SQL requires, well, it doesn't require, but it's highly recommended that you set a password. So we're going to set a password here, and we're going to hit enter. It's going to ask for it again, okay? So let's do this again. Click OK. And now it's getting ready. It's setting all that stuff up for you, all that good stuff that you need to install your WordPress or any other application for that matter. And it's going to go down through this entire process. I think in this video I'm going to have different uh, times that you could click on. You know, for example, somebody might not want to watch my Mr. Rogers video at the beginning, but I like to watch Mr. Rogers to get my day off to the right start. And uh, I can watch that. I, I'd like to do it every morning, but sometimes I'm just too damn busy. So, and, and the good thing about using this command is it, it restarts Apache for you. It starts it automatically. Okay. So now if everything's done successfully, okay, we can go here and refresh. And now we see it works. We're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so that's that's what you need to do to get Apache up and running and started. Because now we have a server environment with a PHP processor, MySQL. And that's what that command did. Like I said, I'll have all these commands for you.
and, and more written out at Avon Website Pro so it'll help you get up and running with your server. Okay, this is Max with Avon Website Pro.